Right, let's do, um, we'll do a couple, so we'll do an easy one to start with. So A plus B times C minus D. So nice little simple one. Okay. Right, so draw yourself a stack. Remember we're processing one character at a time on the input screen. Just like a compiler would do or an interpreter would do. Okay? It just looks one character at a time. You can't see the whole thing, that's why we have to do this. Right, so <coughs> if we get an operand, we just write it down. Okay? So here's a reverse polish. Write it down. Move on to the next thing. It's an operator. Ah. If the stack is empty, you can write the operator down. Now you have to think about it. Move along. Another operand. Write it down. Then we've got an operator. There's something on the stack. So what we've got to do is we've got to say, right, we can only put this on the stack if it's higher precedence. And multiply is higher precedence than plus. So we'll put it on the stack. Always try and write an asterisk, just in case the exam board decide to use X in the expression. Okay, they shouldn't, but you never know. Right, then we get a left bracket. You don't think about that, you just stick it straight on the stack. Okay, move on. Operand, write it down. Operator, minus is higher precedence than the left bracket, so that comes on. D is an operand. Write it down. Right bracket. Right bracket says empty the stack. Don't think, just empty the stack up to the left bracket and then throw the left bracket away. So we're going to empty the stack and we want to throw away that left bracket. So I'm going to rewrite this stack out to show what's currently in it. Okay, so after I've done that process, so I've emptied what was in the stack up to the left bracket, throwing the left bracket away. Now, I've actually got to the end of my input string, <coughs> so what I'm doing now is dump the stack. Dump the stack. And again, you've done something fatally wrong if you've got something in your stack. Okay? <coughs> so, looking, the way you can read these, you, these operands should always be in the same order that they were in the original. If they're not in the right or the same order, something's gone wrong. They don't move position. Okay, because we're just writing them straight down, that's, that's where they sit. The operators, on the other hand, end up written down in the order they're going to be applied. So we've got that bracket, so it was heavily hinted that minus was going to be the first operation we did. And then, because evaluating left to right multiplies higher than plus, that's ended up before the plus. Okay? Right, let's do another one. Let's do one with an assignment in it. <coughs> Everyone happy with that, yeah? If you don't remember the precedence, you can still sort of guess it anyway. But I'm going to leave those stacks on there so I don't have to draw some more boxes out. Right, so if we do uh, F equals A times C to the power of K divided by uh, P minus Q times uh, G to the power of H minus B. <laughs> Alright. Right, so I'll work through this. You can be doing this as well, but I'll, I'll work through it. So start with the first character of the input. Write it down because it's an F. I don't think my stacks are going to get too long. I don't hope that anyway. Moving on. Equals. Nothing on the stack. Let's just whack in equals down. Carry on. A. Operand. Just write it down. Multiply. Yes, that's bigger than lowly equal. So that goes on. Try and keep religious to putting the arrows on. Don't like go back and put the arrows in afterwards. And then see you won't cock it up. Right, so. Yes, it spells fuck. There is. Power is bigger than multiply. K is just an upper hand. Right, divide. 
So we didn't get this situation in the last one. Right, let's try and put it on the start. Oh, we can't. The power is higher precedence. So we have to take the power off and write it down. Okay? We then look at the stack again. Okay, so you don't just automatically put it down, you've got to look at the stack again. Look at the top. Is divide higher precedence than multiply? No. So let's take the multiply off the stack as well. You only write down if it's higher presence, not the same. So we should end up with equals. Divide is bigger than equals. <coughs> Let the dog back on the stack. Right, carry on. P can just be written down. Then we get minus. Minus isn't higher than divide. So we need to take the divide off the stack. Sorry. That's right. At least we got it on camera. Michael, your apology there? Very good. Right, so we then get equals. We were doing minus, that's why it's important to remember where the hell we got to. So we could put minus on top of equals. Carry on, Q. Carry on, multiply. Multiply is bigger than. That's not a very good asterisk, it's turned around 90 degrees. G, it's right down. Q. Power, power's bigger than multiply. That goes on. Left bracket, just write it down. H, upper arm, just write it down. Right, minus, it's bigger than the left bracket in presence terms. So it gets onto the stack. B, just write it down. Then we hit the last character, which is the right bracket. Remember, right bracket means remove everything up to a left bracket, the first one you find. You might have multiple left brackets on there. Okay, if you've got loads of opening ones. You're not getting anything as complicated that in the exam. But obviously, the compiler's got to deal with it. Right, so the minus can come off. And we discard the left bracket. So what we're left with on the stack is that. We've got nothing left. Yes, Matt? When you put the left bracket on, you didn't look at the precedence? You don't. You dump it straight on top. Because the brackets are going to be overriding precedence, the precedence doesn't matter. Alright? <coughs> so yeah, you just you get the bracket shoop, straight on top. So is there a need for it to be a precedence table? Yes, because you need you wouldn't want to put an equals on top of. Not that you've you've misformed your expression if you've got an equals that's going to be processed after. Although if you're doing conditional expressions, you might get brackets and con and equals. Okay, but we're not worrying about conditional expressions because that opens up, that becomes language dependent whether languages force you to, like if you had something like this uh, some languages would make this higher presence than and and other languages wouldn't okay so you might have to start whacking brackets in, especially when you start getting complicated logic. So you might have a situation because you might have comparison: is this equal to insert like VB does? Most languages use a different symbol for it, like C sharp and Java and all that. Use equals equals, don't they? Okay. But yeah, it would come in then. So it, that's why it does end up in that table. Right. So when we got to the end, dump the stack. So we have power. Multiply, minus, and then equals at the end. Okay? Right, I'll stop the recording there so you don't get the video too long. Don't want everyone falling asleep.